Okay, so I'm going to run you through the startup on this system. Plug it in to the wall for the power, and then plug your HDMI into the TV. It's going to automatically load up to your Kodi app. This app will automatically uh, update itself. So if you get messages saying you need to update, don't worry, it'll catch up. Um, okay. So you start out here, um, you want to go to your settings to get it set up to your Wi-Fi, down to Libre Elect, and then you scroll down to connections and your Wi-Fi connection will pop up. Get your own Wi-Fi, your bums. That's my connection. Whatever connections are around, they will pop up over here. Simply click on it and then go to your password, all that good stuff. Okay. So back to this, you'll start off in your add-ons, and your main add-on right here is going to be uh, Cody. It's going to have everything from movies to TV shows. You can just click whatever you want. You can click by, just go to movies and click. You can go to year, favorites, uh, most popular, uh, even one still in theaters. All you do is click on it. I'm not going to get too far into that. Um... Click on it, and you'll have to click one that you want to watch. So you want to watch this one. There's going to be a bunch of sources that pop up. Simply just click on the top one. It'll scroll down through the whole list until it finds one that's good. So once this loads up here, this is probably the worst part about the whole Cody experience. You have to wait on these apps, but you can't really complain from a pricing standpoint. So anyway... Okay, so, you got that, then you just click on one of these that you want to watch. Any one will pop up, it'll scroll down the list until it finds one, and then bam, you got a movie on your TV. Okay, I'm going to go back a little bit further here. Oh, too far. Same thing with the TV shows. You can click on anything, and just like the movies, you can click all the way to the bottom. Just by pressing the up button, it'll take you to the bottom. And you can search for whatever you want. Say you have a TV show that you can't find on a list. Search it right here and it'll pop up. Um, next up is your, your Indigo app. This is kind of a add-on app. You can go to this add-on installer. Scroll down to uh, video add-ons, program add-ons, whatever. Video add-ons is probably the most popular. Go here and then you can go through these and they... I mean, there's just thousands of freaking apps you can download that will uh, get you a bunch of different stuff on your on your system here. Uh, I put the main ones up front here in your video add-ons. Back to the add-ons over here. It's going to start right there every time. Scroll over. Uh, this one is for live TV. If you click on it. Into like, I think it's free TV channels. Click on it. US TV channels. There's another one you have to go to. USA. And then bam. These are all TV channels. You can click on them and play them. Live TV. Um, we got the same thing back here on this app, if this one doesn't work, over on this Sports Devil app, same thing. If you scroll down to Live TV at the bottom, go through. The best one I've found, I think, is a Shadow Net. There's a ton of them under this. You just go to USA Channels. And you can click on the channel you want. Like if you know the showtime of what you're looking for, you can click on this, go to the channel, and it'll be on the TV station. And bam, bam. This one's got hundreds of TV channels as well. Um, also, this has like a live sports thing. So if you want to watch football or even say you like uh, any of these will work. First Row Sports is one I use a lot. 
Um, you scroll, click on that, say you want to watch a UFC pay-per-view. Right there you go. You click on it, it'll take you in, just follow the links. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, there's other apps on here. This is another app that's got movies, TV shows, and live TV. If you go to like Phoenix TV, entertainment I think, yeah, live entertainment. It'll have all these TV channels as well. Scroll into that and pick one you want. I mean, there's just a multitude of stuff on this thing, so just got to kind of play with it. Just remember that this, where's that? This Exodus app right here, it's like Netflix and Hulu had a baby on steroids. So usually if it, you miss the TV show on TV, actually, it'll be on this app, like, pretty much right after it airs. So... There you go.